Welcome to AGR 111, Permaculture Production. This is a 10-week course that will introduce each of you to the concept and study of permaculture, which is a coined term for permanent agriculture or permanent culture. In our course, we will focus mainly on permanent agriculture or a sustainable agriculture system. This is a hybrid course, which means some of your coursework, learning tools, and assessment will be online and some of it will be in person with field work and a lab component. This video is one in a series of videos that you will be asked to watch before you attend your online seminars. In this video I will describe the outline of our course, our course outcomes, as well as our course schedule and some of my expectations for this course. This course will meet on Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 5.15. We will either meet in the Horticulture Building in H107 or we will meet online on your Enter Login, which is the online software that we will be using. It is similar to Blackboard but has some differences. I will hold office hours in my office, which is H202, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 11 to noon or by appointment. We will also have virtual office hours. In the virtual office hours, you will be able to log on and chat with me and or speak with me about any concerns you have for the class. I will show how to log on to virtual office hours during our first course meeting. Your syllabus will be posted on your ENTER website and you will receive a copy during our first meeting. Please feel free to review it, email, or call me with any concerns or questions. My contact information is on the syllabus, and the syllabus also includes your weekly schedule of topics, your readings, your assignments, the grading, and your objectives. So please let me know if you have any questions. The course outline is as follows. You will have partial work that will be just online with your Enter software. This partial work will consist of your online seminars, which will act as your lecture component of this course. As well as your discussion forum, which will give you a discussion board. You will also do some of your assignment submission on ENTER, as well as your quizzes. The other part of the course, it will be an intensive fieldwork component that you will come into the horticulture building and experience some of the concepts and practices of permaculture by working on your field lab activities. There will be some times when your field work component will also include some lecture materials and some discussion. But typically we will be working outside for all of your lab activities, so please come prepared for some out outdoor work. Also, please keep in mind that ENTER is a large component of this course and you will need to use it and check it frequently. This course has various outcomes and objectives for each of the students. This course is meant to introduce students to the production and management of perennial food and orchard crops. It is also meant to introduce students to crop production plans for multi-year phased growing operations, as well as harvesting, storage, and shipping methods that will maximize crop sales and overall crop production. The course outcomes here that I have listed are five that I find the most important of the course. The first is to develop each of your skills and knowledge of permaculture principles by introducing you to what permaculture is as well as its ethics and principles. Also, this will incorporate into your crop placement plans in order to design your own permaculture systems. The second outcome is to understand how to manage soil fertility for long-term sustainable production goals. The first five weeks of your course will be focused on 
successfully achieving these two outcomes. The last three outcomes will be for the second half of your course. And they will be more of the planning and implementing permaculture design systems rather than understanding and building that skill base, which will happen in the first five weeks. You will then be able to plan and manage perennial fruit, nut, and vegetable production operations. You will also be able to develop and implement your own food crop production plans and a crop management plan by studying other plans and learning about how to time and schedule out your crops. Lastly, you will be able to incorporate sequential successional growing operations in order to maximize your crop production. We will now take a look at your course schedule. It is outlined by the week number, your course topic, readings, and assignments for that week. I have it outlined on Monday and Wednesdays, the topics you, we will be learning. The first is an introduction to permaculture, what the concept of permaculture is, how we will study it, who coined the term, then we will delve into ethics and principles of permaculture. The second week, we will learn about the historical roots of industrialized agriculture as well as alternative agriculture. Then we will delve into introduction to crops. We will discuss perennial crops as well as some annual crops to get you familiarized with the crops that we will discuss throughout the rest of the course. In the third week, we won't have class on September 3rd due to Labor Day, but we will have class that Wednesday. And we will discuss soil building and how to protect the soil through various techniques and soil fertility. And we will talk a little bit about indigenous soil fertility techniques. Then in week four, we'll move into soil protection through management of water on your landscape and various other mulching and composting techniques. In week five, we will hit the brink of learning lots of our knowledge and skills and learning the concepts and move more into the practice and the implementation part of this course. We will discuss building food forests as well as edible landscapes and how to incorporate animals into your production. Then we will talk more about the specific field methods and practice field methods that are taught in permaculture, as well as crop planning, building those sequential and successional crop schedules. Then in week seven, we will talk about how to plan for and design your own system, because this will be part of your final presentation and your final project to design your own system. Then in week eight, we will really delve into the crop management plans, as well as learning about integrated pest management and how to naturally control some of your pests. In week nine, you will wrap up with harvesting, storage, and shipping, and best practices for that, as well as seed saving and propagation, which are main tenants of perm permaculture as well. And in the last final week, we will have presentations for your final po project as well as your final exam. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or concerns about how your AGR 111 course will run. Thank you and see you soon.